Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, BD is uh, perpendicular to on this uh, sideline uh, AC. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, 36 and this segment uh, CD is uh, 64. And now our task is to calculate these missing uh, side lengths. Uh, this uh, side length uh, AB, BC and uh, BD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label these uh, unknown sides. I'm going to call uh, this uh, BC side length as uh, X, this uh, side length AB as uh, Y, and this uh, BD length uh, as lowercase uh, M. And our task is going to be find the value of M x uh, and uh, y and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, bda and now let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these uh, two angles alpha and beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume in this triangle uh, this angle uh, is uh, alpha we know this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be angle beta and now let's focus on this other right triangle bdc we know this angle is alpha and this is a 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be angle beta and in this triangle we know that this angle is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be angle uh, alpha therefore we conclude that these are uh, two right triangles uh, this right triangle uh, bda and this uh, tri right triangle bdc are uh, similar uh, triangles according to angle uh, angle uh, similarity theorem and since these uh, two right triangles are uh, similar, so we are going to have a proportion. Let's go ahead and write it down. Let's focus on this uh, triangle. Uh, the side uh, opposite uh, to this angle alpha is 36 uh, and the side uh, opposite to this angle beta is uh, M. Let me go ahead and write down this uh, ratio as uh, 36 uh, divided by M equals to now let's shift our attention on this other right triangle side uh, opposite to angle alpha is uh, m and the side opposite to angle beta is uh, 64 so therefore our ratio is uh, going to be m divided by 64 let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore if we multiply m times m is going to give us uh, m square equal to we can multiply out uh, 36 uh, times uh, 64. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both sides. And now we know that this uh, square and square root undo each other. So we got m equals to, and here let's go ahead and split them. So we can write uh, square root of 36 uh, times uh, square root of 64. And we know that the square root of 36 is uh, 6 and square root of 64 is 8 so therefore uh, value of m is going to be 6 uh, times 8 equals to 48 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, m turns out to be 48 uh, as you can see over here and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, bda once again and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of uh, y. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 36. So it's become 36 uh, plus uh, b is uh, 48 uh, square and c in our case is y and then square 
and if we simplify the left hand side we are going to get uh, 1296 plus uh, 2304 equal to y square let's add these numbers so we're going to get uh, y square equal to 36 uh, Hundred. Let's go ahead and take the square root on uh, both uh, sides to undo this uh, square. So we can see this uh, become y equal to on the right hand side is 60. So our y value turns out to be 60. So that's how this uh, y value turns out to be 60. And now let me show you an alternative method uh, to the Pythagorean theorem. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets uh, 3, 4, and 5 and now let's go ahead and multiply these numbers by 12 across the board so 3 times 12 is going to be 36 comma 4 times 12 is 48 and 5 times 12 is 60 so therefore our Pythagorean triplets turned out to be 36 48 and 60 as you can see over here 36 48 and 60 and finally let's focus on this another right triangle uh, BDC now and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of this side length uh, X and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus B square equal to C square once again I'm gonna call our longest leg as side uh, C I'm gonna call this side a and this side uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case 64 so this is going to become 64 square plus uh, b in our case is uh, 48 uh, square equal to c in our case is uh, x uh, square and now we know that 64 uh, square is uh, 4096 and 48 square is uh, 2304 so therefore x uh, square turns out to be 6400 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our x value turns out to be 80 so thus our side length uh, x turns out to be 80 and now let me show you an alternative uh, method uh, to this Pythagorean theorem now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets once again 3 4 5 and now let's go ahead and multiply these uh, triplets by 16 uh, across uh, the board so after multiplication 3 is going to become uh, 48 this 4 times 16 is going to be 64 and 5 times 16 is 80 so therefore our Pythagorean triplets turn out to be 48 64 and 80 and here's our final answer for all these uh, missing side lengths thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye